I suppose it all started last year for me, really. Um, I moved up to Dundalk when I was going to college here and I just kind of started feeling bad about myself and just thinking like, you know, on paper I've, I have a job, I've, I'm in college, I live away from my parents, things look relatively good and even my friends, like I, you know, if I was out with the boys or they'd be saying, ah, oh, look at you Ben, you get to go home now to your own house or whatever and, and even still in my head I was thinking, no, like I'd like to be going home with you or I'd like to be doing what he's doing or, and I was just going, like, why do I feel like And then I was thinking, like, no, don't, you're only being a drama queen, like, stop, you know, you're grand. And this went on for months then. And then it just kept building up and building up, and I didn't really say anything. And then the thoughts started to creep into my head of, you know, am I depressed or, or am I anxious or what's this? And then it was just, ah, oh, no, don't be ridiculous, don't be ridiculous. And then as it goes, then it just built and built and built and... And then eventually I was just, one day it was just really bad and I just decided, I was just like, actually, yeah, this is bad. I need to go and see someone about this. And then just got in contact with a counsellor and it made a world of difference, like just by sitting down with someone, having a chat. And did you experience this in secondary school at all? Or was this something new? Um, I, not so much the depression, but I was always anxious. Mm -hmm. I used to, when I was in secondary school, I molly coddled my little brother a lot mm. just because I had this strange rational fear that that he was always going to run away or the weirdest thing ever and it's only kind of in the last year I've looked back and gone is it connected or is it not or but the funny thing with anxiety as well is people often you know there's there's certain people have certain perceptions of depression and anxiety yeah. some people might say anxiety is you know it's a, it's a little selfless you're, you're constantly worried about yourself but the most people that I have spoken to who have experienced anxiety and panic disorders spend most of their time worrying about other people. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. That's, that's called empathy and that's really, really important to have. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people in this world don't have any empathy. And it, with anxiety, the problem is people often don't know how to cope with that amount of care that, or love they have for other people, yeah. whether it's their family, whether it's their friends. And sometimes you always worry, maybe, Jesus, what if I come home, my parents aren't here, all this. That's literally, I used to be like yeah. that, but then you actually say, that is, that's in a complete, almost cliche, that's anxiety. You will pick the worst case scenario in your brain, yeah. and as a rational, and as zero logic applies to it, you will talk yourself into it. Yeah. That's how it operates. And it can be militant, it can absolutely, it won't stop until you believe that. Yeah. And with depression, I found the other, I don't know if you read um, um, Bruce Springsteen's book, who sp speaks amazingly about depression, right. he said the same thing. He says often with depression, people see it as quite a selfish thing, where you're, you you go in on yourself, you ignore others, you don't you don't yeah. leave your house, you don't leave your room. The reason a lot of people who struggle with depression, and especially when they know there's people far worse off than they ha are in the world, what happens is you don't want to expose others to that. You don't want others to yeah. deal with that too. You yeah. don't want others to have to who might be in having a great day and you come in you just have that energy and you can't, you, you know, no matter how hard you try, you can't lift it off your yeah. shoulders. So I often feel mental health is very misunderstood by people. They think it's mental health issues are, are a person just going in on themselves. Actually, the person dealing with mental health is often trying to protect others around them, not yeah. having to cope with that, especially when they don't know what it is yeah. Yeah, and the language. But this thing, something you said that really kind of resonates with everybody. People often say mental health issues are deeply complex, and they are. The background issues are complex, but really when you talk to anybody on this planet who's experienced anxiety, uh, depression, any other areas from, from OCD to eating disorders, they'll all tell you the common denominators of how it makes you feel, and it's the same with everybody. It's that feeling of that dread, that fear, that constant and utter yeah, doomsday to relax. feeling, and you know, people will look at you. You know, that's ridiculous. You yeah. know, I know it's ridiculous. But, but you telling me it's think. ridiculous doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't matter what your gender is, what your background is, your demographic, your, your ethnic race. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Nobody's immune to it. 